we would supervise ourselves when I tell boys and girls about that arrangement, they laugh. And they actually feel maybe there should be that freedom, but we didn't use misuse that freedom. I can say those days there were those who would go, where those who had a purpose would watch others go and would still stay for a purpose. I personally had dreamt of becoming a teacher right away in senior two. And for that, whenever there was anything exciting, I would remember I shouldn't be diverted from my mission of becoming a teacher. Twice a month there was a dance. I hope you are my witness. Twice a month <laughs> there was a out. But unfortunately, I never attended any. If you remember, you never saw me in a dance. Oh, it's a very rough <laughs> I never attended the end because my concern was the book. I would hide somewhere in the, in, under the tree and read. So I saw the, 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 the dormitories be expanded for, for boys with that storage building there. By the time we left, we had that uh, current uh, senior 1A and B broker, which was under construction. Actually, later it became his library. And when it was finished, you celebrated that you had a library. Shortly after, it became too small. Even now, it is too small for a class. That is how St. Mary's is growing. Then, Rumors a complex was started, and everybody was like, if it is done, then we shall be okay. You know, those who remember the system of self-service in the dining, it was a good practice, a good culture, where students would care for one another. You are the first one on the dish, you would consider the rest coming after you. It was something unique in St. Mary's, maybe apart from the seminary. The rest of the schools had gone cafeteria. But with the increasing numbers, it became difficult. They put a makeshift, the one that is actually, you know, hard to talk about and believe that it is existing in St. Mary's. But it is there. It is what we are using. Even that makeshift is small, using a cafeteria. But we thank God for the time it has served because all students have now gone to cafeteria and they can get their meal. In 40 minutes, they are done. But we missed the other practice. Those who shared sweet potatoes on a dish, you know, they know what it means. Maybe God willing, when this new dining is done, possibly we can revive that practice. Because, you know, Ugandans are, are be continuously becoming individualistic. And sharing a meal is one way of making people united. That is what we had in St. Mary's. So, later the girls were brought in, but every year that begins, we find there is a crisis in accommodation. The other year, an, a room was added. 2023, two rooms have been added. Now, we are considering starting you know, putting up another story the building. The good news is that we have full support of the stakeholders, the best in their new witness. The bishop is supporting us and want to see St. Mary's to another level. And with your cooperation, we shall do our thing and St. Mary's is going to reach a level that we want it to be. Finally, let me make this uh, uh, comment that we are now handling the new curriculum. I want to say if you have siblings and those who have children and you are considering of taking them to senior one, you need to consider the school where you're taking them. It is unfortunate that some schools are still, you know, trying to learn what they are supposed to do. But St. Mary's will have national trainers. We have master trainers. We may not be the best, but I want to say we are trained. This new curriculum, 
may disappoint some people. And I want to hope and pray that we shall not be disappointed. Therefore, dear old boys and old girls, give us your hands. Let's work together. We shall put St. Mary's on a map and it shall continue to shine as one of our retired teachers, head teachers, used to say. Let me stop here. Let me start I don't know whether we, we sang the school song, which is another beautiful one. Thank you.